All right, let's take a look at how we implemented the play world sound function. Now remember it takes as parameters first a sound URL representing the path to the sound that we want to play in the world, and then the X and Y position that this sound should be played at. So first we're going to check if the player is null for some reason, just as a sanity check. If it is, then we simply return and don't worry about playing it. If there's no players to hear the sound, does the sound actually play? Then we're going to do a little bit of shorthand here just to make it a bit easier to write for ourselves by shortening ggameengine.gmap to just gmap locally. And now we're going to do the calculation for fading the volume out based upon the distance from the player that the sound is supposed to be played at. First, we check the view size of the, of the map's view rect. And we're actually going to do this as a square rather than as a rectangle for simplicity's sake. So we take the maximum of the width and the height, then we multiply it by a half. Since we don't want the full width, we only want the half, since we're going to set the center of that view size to be the player's current position. And we want the distance from the player to the sound. Now we're going to take the x value, the absolute x value, from the player's position to the sound's x position, and similarly for the y value. And now we simply compute the distance function, which is the same one that you've probably learned in high school, which is the square root of the x distance squared plus the y distance squared. And we're going to normalize that distance. And what we mean by that is we're going to take the distance to the observer that we've just calculated, and we're going to divide that by the view size that we calculated earlier to see how many view sizes from the player we are. Like we talked about before, if we are more than uh, two view sizes away, then maybe we want to start reducing the sound, like we discussed. So in this case, if the norm of the distance is greater than one view size away, then we set the norm distance to one, since we're going to reduce the volume by the norm distance later on. And it doesn't really make sense to have a negative volume. If the norm, norm distance is, for whatever reason, less than zero, then we simply return and don't play. And then we create a callback function and immediately calls play sound on that sound object, the path of that sound object, that is, and with settings saying looping is false and the volume is the volume that we have just calculated. So once this function is written, we'll have a nice effect where the further the, a sound is away from a player, the more quietly it's played until the player can't hear it at all, creating a more realistic sound environment.